Okay, so... I am gonna show you... You guys... How... To... Make anything in Photoshop... And import it into, um... Into a range engine. This will also work in Blender. Okay, so you you can take this brush. Um and do whatever you want with it. Um, you change the color down here. You change how big the brush is r right here. Uh, wait, no, you change. Yeah, you, you change. And if you want more customizable size you go here and however many pixels uh, changes the different um how thick the brush is um you go here to fill in the whatever. Um, let's see. Here's the shape tool. So, oh, whoops. Gotta change the color. Uh, so, here's the shape tool. Why isn't the color changing. Um, yeah, I'll have to deal with that later. Um, then there's the text tool and so basically you sorry you gotta go to the select tool um then Select the text tool and make a box and you can put whatever you want in the box. Um, so that's your text. If you want to change it, Highlight it and go here to change the font. Go here to change the size. Um
go here to confirm it. Um, let's see, I'm not 100% sure with, or I'm not 100% familiar with all these tools, but you can go up here and import a photo from or open a photo from some other I'm not gonna uh hold on I'm, I've got some bad photos so uh I can't necessarily you grab the select tool unlock the layer you Move this over here. There. Wait, what? Come on, I had no idea that this photo was this large. So, scale it down a little bit. And not a, a little bit, like, a lot. Seriously, this is a gigantic photo. I had no clue it was this big. So, you could rotate it like this. Um, I know they've got the blur tool somewhere, the red eye removal tool. Um, there's a shape tool. Oh, here's the crop tool. So, if you want to crop your photo, you... Uh... 
I guess it saves everything that's inside the square. Eraser tool. This is pretty cool. There's the background eraser tool. Um, maybe it's the magic eraser tool that I was thinking of. There it is. Um, and then there's the rectangle, or I think you can actually make different shapes. Uh, Once again, I'm not a professional, so, and then, um, these are different effects, I'm not sure what they all do. Yeah, let's uh, undo that. Then uh, you can bring certain layers forward, send particular layers to the back. I'm not sure how I did that. Um, so you can either take the layer like this and move it that way. Or yeah, whatever. You could take this layer and go um uh, layer hold on okay make liar out of me Anyway, 
you can flatten all these together and they all become one and then you go up here to file and you can go you go save then save it on your desktop and you're gonna want to name it doesn't matter what you name it as long as you know where it is and then hold on I might have to Okay, so now we go here to range engine. You go scale. Well, you know how to do this. I, I already showed you. What am I doing? Skill. You can also do this with numbers. So like scale on the Z, press nine, and then you go, um, over to object mo edit mode there it is then you go mesh uv unwrap unwrap then you go to
texture. So, I want to say it's desktop. Uh, stuff for range engine. Now, uh, go. Let's see. Um, three D. UV image editor and we'll figure out how to do the uh, movie editor here one of these times and we go to desktop and And who knows, maybe you guys might uh, learn to do some of this stuff better than I can, or better than I do, I should say. Then go Blender Render and finally I'm thinking you don't have to do this one right here but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not gonna say either way.
see. Dang it. Timeline. Um, okay. No. Why does it look like that? Um, but yeah, you can, okay, wait. I know why it, it doesn't look right. I forgot a step. Um. UV, there it is. So that is how you do that. Um, and I'm not gonna say it looks great, but, um, Thank you for watching, and in my next video, I am probably going to make or I'm probably going to show you the differences and similarities between Blender and uh, Range Engine, or at least Blender 2.9 and or 2.79 and Range Engine. Um, I'll show you Blender 2.9 eight or above and range engine I'm not exactly sure how to show you the uh the differences but uh I guess you could just say that uh Yeah, anyway, you'll just have to wait and find out. Um, and 
I guess I haven't showed you you guys before, but it's pretty common knowledge. So, if you want to save your work, go to save and down here, uh, just, uh, type, um, what you want your file to be called. So I'm just gonna put crazy uh text and then go here. Save as file, and then that's pretty much it. Um, please enjoy. <laughs>